I'm Mark Schenker, Training Manager at Vera Control. Let me begin by thanking you for purchasing the Vera Edge for your smart home technology needs. We welcome you to the Vera community. Let's start by taking the Vera controller out of the box. So on top you'll find your Vera controller and there is a sticker on top that tells you what web address to go to, home.getvera.com, to set up your Vera controller. And we're going to do that in just a minute or two. Underneath the controller itself, in the accessory area, you'll find a network cable, and I've taken the liberty of already running one, and the power supply, which I've also taken the liberty of plugging in before I started the video. Also in the box, you'll find the quick start guide. On one side, you get details of the Vera Edge, as well as what's included in the box. On the other side are the basic instructions of how to get your Vera Edge connected to the internet. The first thing that you're going to do is plug in the Vera controller to your home network router. That's where your internet connection comes into your home. So we're going to do that with our network cable right here on the back. And let me also mention that on the back there's a USB port that's used for expansion. Our power supply plugs in here. And then there's a few buttons on the side. There is a sync button. And we use the sync button to pair a device onto our Z-Wave network without actually going initially into our web interface. On the next button is the WPS button. That's a way of pairing Wi-Fi devices onto our network without actually having, again, to open up the web interface and go through a pairing wizard. And then there's a reset button on the side that you need a, need a paper clip for. So we want to plug in our network cable here on the back. And then we want to plug in our power supply. Then we want to wait for all of the lights to be properly lit up. So while we're waiting for our Vera controller to power up, documentation can be found at support.getvera.com. We put out firmware updates that add additional features and functionality to your Vera controller about every month or so. Now that all of our lights are lit up and we're ready to go, let's go over to our computer so we can go into the web interface and set up our Vera controller. And that address is home.getvera.com. That takes us to the login screen. Click on I have a new gateway to set up. From the drop down menu, select the Vera Edge and then click continue. First, plug in the Ethernet cable to your Vera Edge, then plug it into power. Once all five lights are lit up solid green, click continue. Input the serial number and the MAC address. You'll find them on the back of your controller. If you are new to Vera, click on create an account. If you are already a Vera user, type in your username and password. Type in a username, a password, which must be at least eight characters long, include one letter, one number. To make a really strong password, use a capital letter and a symbol. Type in your email address and then click register. It takes about 30 seconds for the system to assign your username to your Vera Edge. Once your Vera Edge is assigned to your user ID, you'll come to the setup wizard. The wizard will guide you through the process of connecting each of your Vera devices and setting up your Vera controller. Click Next to continue. Then you'll input the information on the screen. Note that when you select your country and then region, it will automatically assign the time zone to you. Then your mobile provider and your mobile phone number. We use that to send you text notifications if you choose to receive text notifications. When you clicked Next on the previous screen, we sent you an email with a validation code. Click on validate email address. This is what the email will look like and you can see the validation code 2441. Type the code into the box and then click on validate email address. And then do the same thing with the code that was sent to your mobile device. Then choose a name for your Vera Edge. You'll see that name in the top right hand corner of the screen. To learn how to add a device to your Vera network, you want to go to our YouTube channel youtube.com slash Vera Training and you want to select the video titled UI7 Adding a Z-Wave Device How To. You'll also find a number of videos up there that will help you add additional types of devices to your Vera network as well as overview videos that show you all of the different capabilities of your new Vera Edge. Now if you run into any problems setting up your Vera Edge or have any issues in the future our customer care team is here to help. 
You can email them support at getbira.com or you can click on the tech support tab in the user interface and you can see that right here. Now I mentioned our YouTube channel. If you want to get a notification as soon as we add a new video to the YouTube channel, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you want to find out what's going on at Vera on a regular basis, like us on Facebook. And that's, by the way, where we publicly tell everyone that we've got a new firmware update. And we put those out, like I said earlier, about once a month or so, and that adds new features and functionality. So like us on Facebook. If you have anything that you'd like to see me talk about in these videos, you can email me, training at getvira.com. And again, I'd like to thank you for purchasing your Vera Edge. I'd like to welcome you to the Vera community. And remember, at Vera, it's not about what we can do. It's about what you no longer have to do.